Today, I'm going to be showing you the theme paint jobs I've applied to product samples of Snot Goblin Gaming's Modular Terrain. It's a Kickstarter that I worked very closely on with the creator to bring to life, and now I'm featured as a collaborating artist. The campaign will be linked in the description below if you want to check it out after the video. Since some of you may be new to the channel coming in from Kickstarter directly, hello, I'm Katie. My channel is focused on tabletop gaming related crafts and nerd culture themed art projects. So you can read all about the campaign in depth to learn more about the story behind the product and the reasons to buy it on the Kickstarter campaign page. Where I want to focus is the opportunity for customization that this terrain allows. Not only is it completely modular, allowing you to configure it in a million different ways, it's also a blank canvas for creativity. The terrain is gray injected molded plastic with some battle damage sculpted into each piece. The terrain is relatively flat without texture, which allows you to not only paint it to your liking, but also add texture of your own. Now, the Kickstarter offers completely unpainted sets for those of you that already have an idea in mind of how you want to paint up your terrain. There are also tiers you can back to have your stuff commissioned painted by yours truly. In this video, I will show you my premium tier offerings for the campaign. So I'll admit, when I was painting these product samples, the new volume of Stranger Things was just about to release, so I was definitely in an alien mindset. They also just released the codex for Tyranids, and I think this terrain would work really well with any sort of chaos army. You could see this being Zinch, you could see this being Tau terrain, any sort of alien other world that you can envision. I had like 20 different themes that I wanted to do to this terrain, and I have so many ideas, so if you're looking for a custom piece, I definitely have a lot of ideas for you. But I wanted to create something that was going to be versatile enough that it could be used not just for 40k, but any really alien themed RPG or sci-fi game. Now this is one of my premium tiers, so when you go to Kickstarter you will see it under the premium tier options for my pledge levels. The terrain itself is foundationally based on a gradient, so you'll see I applied a purple to blue gradient and that is both on the walls and the floor pieces. Once that a gradient has been applied, I basically am using pink and magenta colors as the highlight, since those are great accents for this these cool tones that we have in the background. Uh, I'm using that magenta to essentially create these halo areas around all of the battle damage. It's supposed to look like stuff that is coming through this terrain, or perhaps you can also envision it being like glowing from this damage area. There's some sort of like alien uh, substance in there that's making it glow, whatever you want to call it, um, it's meant to be some sort of additional alien effect. Next, I go in with my very heavy purple dry brush. This is what I do instead of washing. I just essentially want to make sure I have a lot of um, implied texture through this purple dry brush effect. And while you watch me dry brush, here are a few reasons why you might consider pledging the commission tier. I use a special stencil to then create kind of an alien skeletal weird pattern. I don't even know how to describe it. I just thought that this would mesh really well and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think it looks absolutely dope and very unique. So it's kind of like an implied texture on the terrain. And then once I applied the stencil, the last piece here was really to go through and just find detail and do some edge highlighting with that hot pink color. Then we place our super epic otherworldly blue and pink tufts, and we are done. So next up is Plagued Runes. I really wanted to play around with textures and tones on this particular type of terrain, so I wanted to see how it would take certain materials like washes and various paints. This is a gross, nurgly terrain option. I felt like it was a great opportunity to do that. I could see this particular set design being used for any sort of apocalypse themed RPG game, uh, wargaming of course, just overall a great disgusting terrain option for any sort of chaotic need you might have. So I basically put down a bunch of muddy paste on the floor panels and then I used a grittier, sandier sort of paste for the corrosive damage that I wanted to do on those worn battle damage areas. Both of those different pastes gave me different textures to play with, so that's why you'll see two different textures being used here. Uh, and both applied very meticulously to make sure that it was portraying the effect that I was actually trying to illustrate.
So I'm using a moldy ochre color as the main base color for this terrain. And you'll see that when I apply it over that tonal gradient that I already put down with the white and the gray, it's actually gonna create a little bit of its own gradient effect without me having to use a different hue of the ochre. It also makes it look dusted over and a little bit dirty, which is the goal. This next part, you're gonna see me applying a wash. And what's interesting about these washes is they are not your normal wash, they are oil washes. Not only are they oil washes, but they are oil washes that I have toned specifically for this terrain. So one is a brown wash mixture. It has some red, yellow, and brown tones in it. The second is a green blue wash. The reason I'm doing this is because, again, this terrain does not have a lot of texture to it. But now that I've put texture down, that texture is going to absorb and have some definition to it when a wash is applied. Second is I actually want the wash to tone the paint. So I want to color shift my paint job and adjust it with these washes that I've created specifically for this purpose with these specific colors. So you're going to see that here, that the color of the terrain itself and the texture that I've put down all changes and has more definition when I apply these oil washes. And while you watch me finish this section, I wanna mention one more reason to consider backing the commission tier, and that's stretch goals. If you want to have your stuff commissioned anyways, backing it in the campaign goes towards the overall funding of stretch goals. I also have a few commission paint unlocks that I am offering for the campaign stretch goals, which you can check out in the campaign page. I'll also mention that I agreed to take custom commission requests for this terrain, so if you want to have your terrain painted to a different theme that's not offered in the Kickstarter, because there are so many cool ideas that I have, you can back the unpainted option of your choice and then reach out to me directly after the campaign, either through Instagram or the contact form on my website. All right, now this step is gonna look pretty familiar. I'm going in now with a dry brush, just like I did for the other world set, except I'm gonna be using my moldy ochre color and I'm going pretty heavy with this, especially on the floor pieces because I want there to be a heavy sort of moldy plague looking uh, dry brush on those textures that are nicely laid out on the bottom. And then I'm also doing my edge highlighting with that same uh, moldy ochre color to make sure that I create some uh, dimension in the pillar pieces. We finish it off with some typhus corrosion drips and rust on those corroded edges. 